Hey guys, it's Hey here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair Windows 8 on your computer in case you are running into issues with uh, corrupted files or if you're running into issues with uh, malware and you want to uh, restore the computer back to factory settings or whatever your problem may be. Maybe you just want to start fresh again and start all over because your computer is heavily infect, infected or it may be that you, you're having problems with the system or you may not be able to boot up at all so you're going to need a Windows CD to do this alright so some of these options will work without the Windows CD some of these options will require the Windows CD it's a good idea to have a Windows CD on at all times in your house if you don't then you really are screwing yourself over if you come across a problem with your operating system I mean when the Windows CD will repair almost every Windows related issue because you can refresh the computer back to the factory default settings and, and without even losing your files if you do it a, a special way or you can even use the CD to completely wipe out the computer and start all over again so it's just good to have a Windows CD on you so for users that don't have a Windows CD I'm going to show you what you can do to attempt to repair Windows when it's not working right so the very first thing you're going to do is come over with your mouse now I'm going to be assuming you can boot to the desktop some users won't be able to get to the desktop if you can't get to your desktop you're definitely going to need a Windows CD to fix this but if you can this is what you can do go down into uh move your uh your your mouse over to the side here click settings come down to where it says change pc settings once this uh window opens we're going to come down to uh update and recovery and then we're going to click on recovery and here's where you can refresh your pc without affecting the files this option is going to require the Windows CD. You cannot use it unless you have a Windows CD. Or you can remove everything and reinstall Windows. Again, that will require you to have a Windows CD. Okay? So for other users that don't have Windows CDs, you can come down to this Advanced Startup and click Restart Now. And this will basically launch the automatic repair when the computer restarts. All right, once you get this window open, you can come down to where it says Troubleshoot, or you can go back into Windows. Well, you want to click Troubleshoot. You'll be presented with the option to refresh the PC, reset the PC. Because we don't have the Windows CD, we're not interested in these two options. I'm going to go over it later on in the video for users that have the Windows CD. So for what you would do is you would come down to advanced options and in here you got startup repair this will help fix computer problems that prevent windows from starting but uh it's not the best it can't always fix every windows related issue and you also have system restore which you can use to restore the computer back you can click startup settings right here and you can enable the uh the uh, safe mode and the debugging mode and the bootloading mode so you can have basically uh, a chance at booting up this computer say you can't boot up the computer this would probably be what you want to do try to get to safe mode if you can't get the safe mode come back to this and you would try to start up repair if that failed you would try to system restore if that failed you would need a windows cd basically so you can either use um the system restore feature here if you click on that well you're going to need a system restore point to uh, restore off of you should automatically have some So by doing that, this is going to repair system restore. So what you would do is you would select your account that you have. Enter your password in.
and it will locate any system restore points on your computer. So if you have a restore point, you can recover the computer back to that time. If you don't have any restore points, you're going to have to uh, use a Windows CD because obviously if you can't use and if this is this fails, you're really going to need a Windows CD if you can't uh, re recover this computer. So I'm going to show you now how to basically refresh the computer and completely uh, like like to factory default and then I'll show you and there's also an option to wipe out the computer and reinstall Windows it's basically the same but for users that have their files on their computer they would not want to have to wipe out the comp computer they would want to refresh it and start over it all right so back into this screen again you now need to put the Windows CD in to the computer if you don't this will not work okay so if you don't have the Windows CD, you can't do the next set of uh, recovery options that I'm about to talk about. Okay, so now you want to click turn off this computer. And you want to make sure you put the CD into the computer. And you want to configure the BIOS so it can boot off the CD. If you don't know how to boot off a CD, you can check my other video out. I'll have the link or I'll have it posted right now. You should see like a black box click on that and it will uh, take you to my video to show you how to boot off a CD so you're gonna auto automatic you're gonna obviously need a Windows CD to do this next bit so put your Windows CD in and and click turn off the PC alright so now I'm just gonna boot off the CD here Alright, so we booted it up off the Windows CD here. And what we're going to be doing is clicking the next button. And we're, what we're interested in is repair your computer. You also have the option here. You can reinstall Windows and wipe out the complete computer and restart again. And that will lose all your files. So if you didn't back up your computer, you're going to not want to do this option unless you want to completely start fresh and wipe out the complete computer and reinstall Windows 8. Now that will basically fix the computer if it's a Windows related issue for sure. But if it's not, you want to if you still want to keep your uh, some of your files and stuff, you uh, want to go down to repair your computer. And what we'll do is we'll bring back the automatic repair again. But in this time when we click troubleshoot, we can now use refresh your PC or you can click reset your PC. All right. Now this is going to, these options are going to take like a couple, maybe an hour to do. So I can't record a video for that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let allow you guys to you, choose your option here. You can click refresh the PC. Basically what will happen is you will, uh, it will basically reinstall windows without losing all your files however programs that you've installed or downloaded onto the computer will likely have to be reinstalled but your documents your photos your, your pictures and all that should be safe if you use the refresh option and for those that want to completely start over again this is the option you would use. Reset your PC. You would follow the on-screen instructions. It's very simple to do. But this option would completely wipe out the files on the computer. And if you didn't back up your computer, you would lose everything. So this is an option for those that wish to what completely start over again. This option will be more for people that don't want to lose their documents, music, or photos that are on there. Keep in mind by refreshing this, you're still going to have to reinstall all of the programs you've downloaded all over again. But what it would do is it will create a log file of all your programs so you can get back to them and stuff. And you can uh, basically reinstall them off the websites again. Very easy. So this is a, an option you would use if you're going to be using the uh, refresh method and then reset and it basically wipe the system and start all over again so uh, hopefully this video has helped you guys please comment right and subscribe if you enjoy my videos